Six decades of reinvention. No wonder David Bowie was simply one of the most revered and influential musicians of all time. An artist who dazzled and then moved on to his next incarnation. There's a star. Britain had never seen anything like it. In 1972, Bowie unveiled himself as Ziggy Stardust, an extraterrestrial rock star. The nation was part scandalised by this pouting androgynous creation, but it made David Bowie a superstar, both here and in America. But for other musicians who would later fall under his spell, he was about so much more than just looking spectacular. Listen to the chords he used. They are so unbelievably difficult. The song structures are just incredible. He didn't write three minute pop songs, he wrote pieces of art that we could listen to. News of Bowie's death was confirmed today in a tweet by his son, the film director Duncan Jones, who said, very sorry and sad to say it's true. I'll be offline for a while. Love to all. It all started for Bowie in Brixton in South London and all through the day fans have been gathering in the neighbourhood where he spent his early years. I feel like in a way that I knew him, but obviously I didn't, and he was a bit special. He gave a sense of immortality, you know, the, the power to regenerate like Doctor Who or something, and uh, you know, the idea of him not being there is quite a difficult uh, idea to deal with. David Robert Jones was born here in 1947, the son of Peggy, a waitress, and Haywood, a charity worker. He would spend his formative years in and around South London, studying art and design, and trying to carve out a career in music. There were many incarnations of him even then, but for his school friend who joined the young Bowie in forming bands and playing the local circuit, it was clear which one of them was going to go the musical distance. I'd never met anyone like him, you know, it was just so uh, different from everyone else I knew. He was just, um, had great ideas, great thoughts, and uh, you know, it's difficult when your best friend dies. You know. Bowie never forgot his Brixton roots returning to play here and those who witnessed his rise today remembered their part in his journey. Mary Finnegan had a relationship with him when she became his landlady in Beckenham in 1969, a time when he was beginning to develop his musical voice. He composed most of his second album while he was living with us and he would do it on the swing out in the garden with the kids messing about around him. He drew everybody into his orbit and I was no exception. His 1985 duet with Mick Jagger for Band-Aid helped contribute to its success, but the singer refused to stand still, even when his work received a lifetime award. I'm not sure that we should pay homage to the past. I prefer to sort of keep reinventing it, but uh, it's a nice place to play my music. And they told Proof of his refusal to be defined came with this, singing carols with Bing Crosby. And then there were the films, 20 of them, though we often joked that an inability to pay attention to any one thing for long underscored his career. I think the flowers taste better. That love of experimentation was evident in all he did, his music and his fashion the subject of sell-out exhibitions. Those that followed say they owe their own careers to the man. He's probably the single person that uh, is responsible for me being a musician, certainly for Duran Duran existing, and probably nearly all of our contemporaries from that period. Bowie died just two days after the release of his latest album, Black Star. Look up here, I'm in heaven. In one track he sings about being in heaven. Ever the showman, a poignant and deeply moving farewell to the world. Wow.
I guess you can often judge the influence and importance of someone who has died by the calibre of those paying tribute. That was certainly true of Dave in Bowie today. The former Beatles, Sir Paul McCartney, said David was a great star and I treasure the moments we had together. His star will shine in the sky forever. In her tweet, Madonna said, I'm devastated. This great artist changed my life. Talented, unique, genius, Game changer, the man who fell to earth. Your spirit lives on forever. And Brian Eno, Bowie's producer, had this poignant message. I received an email from him seven days ago. It ended with this sentence. Thank you for our good times, Brian. They will never rot. I realise now he was saying goodbye.